Hi everybody, this is Patrick from TT, and this is um, this is a brief walkthrough. This is a practice session for TT Office Hours Two. TT Office Hours Two is going to focus on ADL, ADL 101. I'm going to show you some simple things you do with ADL. I'm going to tell you about ADL, what people use it for, how it came about, and I'm going to show you a real simple algorithm to build an algo for you and show you how it works and explain kind of how traders are using ADL right now. I get a lot of questions about ADL all the time, which so I thought this is a very good topic for everybody here how to build simple things and if they could do it. If you know, a lot of traders ask me, can I actually do this? I'm like, yes, you can, this is not that hard. I'm not a trader, I'm not a coder, nothing like that. That's kind of the beauty of ADL. I'm gonna go back into ADL a little bit and how it actually evolved. ADL evolved um, several years ago by some really good trader friends of ours at TT who the trader and a couple of his buddies who were trading in the pits. They had an engineer friend who was upstairs who was designing that was for to trade electronically while they traded the pits. And they kept asking for changes to those algos, kept asking for changes to the logic. The engineer got a little frustrated. It was like, there's gotta be an easy way. These guys are able to make the changes themselves and move the code. So he came up with this process, this drag and drop DIY type of algo development platform. So non-coders, non-engineers, just regular traders could make their own algos. That's how ADL came about. And that's what you have now, our own DIY do-it-yourself algo development tool called ADL. And let's go through some of the stuff. This is one of the algos I'm going to show you. This is one I pushed out on social media about a week or so ago. Got real popular feedback. A lot of people asked questions about that. They're like, you're not going to do that yourself? Yes, you can do it yourself. I built this in like seven, eight minutes. It's real easy to do. And I'm going to walk you through it. The whole logic behind it, the theory of what we're doing here is if there's a really big aggressive buy that goes through in micro NASDAQ features, I want to put a market order in to buy micro e-mini features, okay? Thinking of the micro NASDAQ, micro e-mini, whatever, it doesn't matter. That's just, that's just the use case here. I'm not recommending, recommending this trade. This is just a sample of how, what you can do with ADL and how you can build stuff. So this is the finished product right here. It's not that big, not that difficult. I'm gonna get rid of this stuff right now. And I'm gonna show you how I actually built this, all right? So like I said, it's DIY, it's drag and drop. I'm gonna drag an instrument block over. This instrument block right here, I'm gonna go in, I'm going to name it Micro NASDAQ MNQ. Choose a December contract, just like that. I'm gonna relabel this from type static to type as order instrument. I'm making an order instrument that's gonna make it available in the TT platform on order ticket and ND trader. So you wanna do that. The account, have a second account. All right, and what, I'm, what am I doing? I'm gonna track some trade data to actually make this make sure this trade happens. So I need time and sales and get time and sales. These aren't my trades, I'm, I'm tracking the market trades. So I'm gonna get time and sales block. I can actually type in your time. It's gonna take me there, double click it. It's gonna drop it in. So now I have micro NASDAQ features and time and sales. Time and sales mic is now reading the market data from micro NASDAQ features. What do I want on here? Now I need to know some certain bits of information on the time and sales block. So I'm gonna get a block that's called the message info extractor block, which has to be right here. I can go drag it down here, just like that, collect it to the time and sales, connect to the time and sales like that. And I'm gonna need two pieces of information. I want the trade quantity, and which is like that. And I also want the is take. Is take, or trade is take basically says this was an aggressive buy order. So those are the two things I want and need. I'm gonna click on that, I got it now, all good. What do I wanna do with the trade is take? I wanna know if that's greater than a certain quantity, how many? I'm going to say just eight. So if someone comes in and makes an aggressive buy in micro NASDAQ for eight contracts, I want to buy the mini. So I'm going to click this on eight. And I'm going to rename this to order quantity one. Quantity one. I'm going to make this a user defined so I can change that every time I actually go and launch the algo itself. And I want to know if my trade quantity is greater than eight. So we type in greater than, greater than block, just like that, trade quantity is greater than eight, just like that. Um, but I also, need, I also need to know that this is an aggressive buy, so I need an M because it's greater than eight and is an aggressive buy. So I'm going to an M block, nuke these guys together. So, and just like that. Okay, so that, that is my signal. This is my trade signal right there. I have an aggressive buy that's more than eight contracts. Easy peasy, simple to do, got it. All right, so now what else I wanna do? I wanna buy 
the mini of this, so or the micro mini. So I type in, I'm gonna read an instrument block, just like that. I'm gonna change the instrument over here to micro e mini e s d21. Change that to user defines. I can change it on the actual algo when I run it in the platform, right? Run it in TT. I'm gonna pick an account. And what I want to do is this is gonna be, I'm gonna buy this. Okay, an order block is gonna drop down there like that. I'm gonna click it in here like this. One, that's got a price selection. Do I want a price? No, come to buy this at the market. So I'll change this to order type limit, order type market, just like that. Quantity, how many should I do? I'm gonna say three. So if someone buys eight aggressive micro NASDAQ, I'm gonna buy three minis at the market. And make this um, easy to find. I'm gonna call this order quantity two. Change that in the fly when I want to, and I'm actually launching it in the platform. On is just like that. Now here's my trigger. I'm gonna run the trigger over to this on block, just like that. That's all there's to it. Really, that's all the trade lumps there's to it. I don't have an alert block though, so I can see what's going on. I use these for testing all the time. So here's my alert block. Alert. I'm gonna connect this to the fill block, just like this. I'm gonna tell every time I get a fill in here, it's gonna it's gonna trigger this alert block to push out a message. I'm make this in some color blue. What I wanted to say, I wanted to say that, hey, you just bought, and I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna use a hash signal. The hash signal calls up all the different trade and market information. I'm gonna put in my fill quantity equals, uh, so bot equals fill, it's gonna say three, and at, and hashtag, Hashtag fill price and I'm put of and of and what's my instrument? I'm gonna use a, an at symbol this time. The at symbol is gonna tell me to go in and actually pull a block off the canvas. A hashtag is gonna go into the underlying the market information. A hat, an at symbol is going to go into stuff blocks that are actually on the EDL canvas. So what one do I want to get? I want to get that order instrument number one, which is the e mini. Just like that, and click on save. And that's all there is to it. I'm gonna go ahead and run this now and show you what, show what it looks like, but I wanna squeeze up some space. I'm gonna get rid of this part, unpin that, so that goes away, I'll slide it over. And now I can kind of shrink up my screen a little bit so you can show TG platform simulation over here. I'll show you what happens when I run this. I'm scrunching up a little more. All right. So now I happen to be short two right now, so I'm going to buy those back because we'll see them. And now I'm going to go ahead and run this, and I'm going to have the alerts set up over here. So the alert will actually push information down here and the trade information will go through over here. So again, what are we looking for? We're looking for someone to buy eight micro NASDAQ, which are up here. Someone to buy eight aggressive micro NASDAQ and then I'm gonna buy three minis at the market. So let's see if it works. I'm click on the start button right here. And now these blue dots are showing market data is passing through from the time of sales block into the market info extractor block. I need to wait for eight contracts we bought aggressively in micro NASDAQ. Hopefully that happened before too long. Everyone is selling right now, so that's not doing any good, is it? Okay, now it happened. Someone just went through and bought. Bought three down here. You can see I bought three micro E-mini down here, just like that. Boom, boom, boom. That's how it works. Um, if I wanted to call that up, I can call that up also just in the platform. You can see it's kind of running already over here a little bit. Now I can actually go back and call it up. Let's flatten this out. So I'm gonna sell these three, get out of them. And I have my conditional order type this year already. Um, it's my conditional, just like that. I can click anywhere in here to start it up again. That just started the my conditional run again and boom, it happened again already. So three, so 
obviously someone bought eight aggressive of micro NASDAQ and I bought three main. It's as simple as that. You saw how quickly it was to build that. It's a very simple thing to do, very easy to do. And that is all I'm trying to sell you on. I'm just trying to share that this is really easy stuff to do. That's how you can go in and build yourself a little algo in ADL. You can build a lot of stuff. That was just nine, 10 blocks to do that. Real simple. You saw it took just a few minutes. And that's kind of what we're doing. If you have questions on how to build an algo, you can always just go in and click on support, you're building something, and you can click in, send feedback, continue. And you can put a question there too. You can actually ask, how, I've got a problem with this algo. What do I do? Type it in there. We'll try and help you out if we can. It gets a little iffy there, but we can test out whatever we can. But that way, if you put a ticket in like that, it's going to get to our support desk. And it's also going to get to our ADL engineers. And it's going to get to people like me who are ADL experts who can kind of look at it and say, hey, this is what the guy's got to do. Real simple, real easy. If you'd like to see something else, reach out, contact me. We'll, we'll talk through it. But that's the presentation. That is one-on-one and in the actual presentation we're going to go through and ask for general questions to wrap but obviously there's no one here so that's what we have hopefully you enjoyed and we will move on from there bye all